All right, so this here is the Pong Fong. And the Pong Fong is an instrument that I designed a while back, built into a shoe box. Um, basically, for those better informed than I was, it's an Atari Punk console. It's a basic stamp that I'm using to emulate a few oscillators. And, um, well, you can control it with these potentiometers and it's uh, falling apart. It's pretty much held together by duct tape. It's made in a goddamn shoebox for Christ's sake, so it's not long for this world. Um, half the time I go to fire it up and it doesn't work, and half the time it shoots sparks at me. So I thought I'd uh, take it out for one last uh, spin. Well, maybe not last, but uh, make sure that it's uh, documented before I move on to um, the up-and-coming Fong phone, which uh, talk about later, but here it is, the original Pong Fong. the difference. So this here is the inside of said Pong Fong, which um, basically there you can see there's a basic stamp um, and the basic stamp is really pretty much doing everything. It's just some code I wrote on there that has two different um, oscillators running and uh, these potentiometers here in the front. Um, the one on the left here controls the pitch of one of the oscillators. This one here controls the pitch of the second oscillator. 
this one controls the overall rate at which the oscillators are um, pulsing, so kind of like the overall speed of the beat. But one oscillator pulses at an offset from the other, which is caused by this knob, which is what allows you to kind of get some rhythm out of it. And then this little guy down here lets you shut on and off um, one of the oscillators, which lets you kind of work in a little more rhythm to it. Um, and this guy over here is a volume knob. You can use this to fade in and out. Um, and turning it on and off is accomplished uh, via the innards of this old cassette deck here. So you simply press uh, play when you're ready to go. So yeah, that's the original Pong Fong. Um, as mentioned earlier, it's getting a little long in the tooth. So a friend and myself have been working on its successor, the Fong Phone. The Fong Phone will be available soon on both iOS and the Android platform. Uh, some of the great features about the Fong Phone are no sparks, and to my knowledge, it has yet to catch any phones on fire. So uh, that's a plus. Um, fully leverages all the capabilities of modern touchscreen devices and I'm pretty excited about it. Expect to see a video on that coming shortly.